Look at this color. Look at these highlights. Everything looks so good. This hair is so silky, so bouncy. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So I have another wig video today, but this one's a little different because it is a two for one. So I'm going to be showing you two wigs that are super beginner friendly and they are from an upgraded series with a brand that I have worked with several times before. So I am super excited to see the changes that they've made and if it makes these wigs a lot easier to wear and like they claim to be beginner friendly. So before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I'm not going to keep you guys waiting because I'm excited to see what these wigs look like. I have not even taken them out of the box. So we will do a quick little unboxing and then I will show you what's inside. So if you want to see the upgrades to this beginner Bob series, stay tuned and keep on watching. You may have guessed, since I said I have worked with this brand several times before and from the purple box, that the wigs we are showing today are from the brand Love Me Hair. Now, I have done pretty much every single style of wig that they make. Um, I have several of them. Some I've shown on my channel, some are still in the box. <laughs> I haven't even opened them yet, but anytime I can find a wig on sale, I tend to grab them because these are human hair wigs and they are really expensive. So let me give you some details about this series because these two wigs, I actually asked for these to be sent to me and they said that they would. So I was going to pay for these. This is how excited I am. So the first one, and I'll insert a picture here, is this chestnut brown highlight straight wig. It is a four by four closure bob and it is in 10 inches. I wanted something quick that I could throw on and go, but I wanted some color for the fall. It says that it has a natural hairline and that is part of what the upgraded series is for the bobs. It is pre-plucked for this natural hairline and it also says that the knots are bleached which you don't normally get so this one in 10 inches is right now on the website 149.90 and they always have a sale always have discount codes if i have one i will put it down below for you guys but i just thought this one was absolutely gorgeous and being that it's a four by four we all know barbara does not like a center part but you can wear this one in the center part and it looks cute on the model so we might try it the other one i'll go ahead and tell you real quick if you don't want to deal with any kind of glue you can't go wrong with a wig that has bangs i have several of these as well but this one really stood out to me because she is layered in the front a lot of my wigs are very like blunt cut it's straight and i just really liked how this one had the layers in the front because back in the day when i used to wear bangs we had some layers so this is their shortcut 13 by 4 frontal lace layered bob wig with bangs now the fact that they say this is a 13 by 4 and it actually has lace at the top gives it a more upgraded realistic look versus just having y'all know how wigs with bangs kind of just have that little it starts in the center and then everything just goes out from there it actually has a part I don't have any wigs like this. So another reason why I was super excited about it. These are the wigs right here. So we have the one with some color and then the one that is in a natural color. And then in the box, you also get, they always give cute little goodies. I love that. You get your wig cap and then you get this little bag which has a baby hair brush, edge brush, always need that. So we have that right there. And then you also get your scarf to tie it down. And then they've been sending, ooh, this one's in a purple case. They've been sending these out lately too. And it's just a little mirror, which I think is really, really cute. I got this in a gold one in another package that I bought. So that's the mirror there. And it comes in this cute little pouch. So enough with the unboxing when I tell you we're about to do let's see how easy this is 
let's see how easy this is so I'm gonna use one of these wig caps I don't normally use a wig cap but I do want to make sure my hair is flat because we want to wear it glueless we want to make sure it looks as realistic as possible but I'm gonna put on the wig cap and then I'm going to put on my wig grip so we're gonna go ahead and start with the wig with the bangs first I can't believe this is a wig with lace so right here at the top of the wig you can see that it has lace it is not that little circle cap and then there is lace across the front that you can cut but this makes me excited because you could probably still part it from the side this is a lot of lace to work with in the front I have never had a wig like this so you do have your comb here at the crown and then you also have combs on the side right here and then you have your elastic band and adjustable straps here in the back so pretty standard construction for the rest of it but this I have never seen so ooh, okay so we're just gonna go ahead and put her on since I have my wig grip I'm not gonna worry about tightening the straps and also because it has the adjustable band it's supposed to be easy so let's see how easy so let me just make sure I have it pulled down all the way this cap is definitely big head friendly because it is covering my ears and I still have a little more room and then I need to pull it down some more in the back so we don't have this lump at the top okay this hair I have to flatten at the top but we're not gonna worry about that but y'all you see the layers in the front so I would just take my flat iron and kind of pass it on there Ooh. okay I know this looks a little, a little crazy but just give me a minute let me get it situated and I'm gonna do everything on camera so you guys can see but I'm gonna speed through it so I'm just gonna get my clips if I can find them and then get this lace tinted a little bit and then we're gonna get it on okay so lace is off and as you can see I put some powder at the top I didn't put too much because I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to part it right now I'm just trying to make sure I can get the top this top part to be a little flatter and I feel like it's a tiny bit too low on my eyes I don't like hair in my face like that <laughs> at all so we need to try to see okay we got room to pull it down a little bit here it's weird because it has the lace in the front but I'm almost like why like what is the point of that because by the time I pull it back where I want it to be like the lace is pretty far back you can see on my forehead but I'm not really worried about like I could tint it some more but I'm not really worried about it because you're not gonna see it unless you decide to style it that way then you can so I'm going to use my heat protectant. This is the AG Firewall. I have a big bottle of this. I have a small bottle of this. It's really good. It gives a little shine, but it's just mainly a heat protectant. And see if we can get this to come together. have it situated I still feel like it's a little tiny bit low or maybe I just need to yeah thin out the bangs there we go I don't like I don't want it to, <laughs> to look like I just have like a curtain in the front of my face but I don't want to pull it 
too, too far back on my head. I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of my mousse just to get these flyaways tamed. But y'all look at this. I'm gonna put some late, some um, powder in my part. I always get tongue tied when I start getting excited. Put a little bit of powder just to hide the grids because it's not knots that I see, but you do want it to look more like scalp than just lace. So got a little bit of powder in there to make it look realistic, but I just love these layers in the front. Just to get into the specs of this unit real quick, because I don't know if I said them or not. Let me make sure I have it right. 10 inches, 150% density, and the lace area says 13 by four. I feel like that's about right, maybe even a little bit more. And the cap is 22 and a half inches. So standard cap, but <laughs> this kind of makes me want to cut bangs again. I would throw this on in a heartbeat. I'll probably go back with my curling iron just to kind of give it a little more bump. I don't know, this side has a little more curl than this side. And I'm not sure which one I like better, but just to make it easy, I'll straighten out this side a little bit only because we're talking about Bob series. Cut the lace off, throw it on however you want it to frame your face. Go ahead and show you full 360. It's how it looks from the side. I feel like the layers make it look more realistic. Then this is it from the back. You just wanna make sure because the cap stops about right here to make sure that's covered. I think I got it but definitely bouncy, flowy. This is cute. Like y'all are probably gonna see this in some videos where I need to film fast, but don't feel like putting heat on my hair. That's why these are called protective. I don't have to do anything with my hair. There's no glue. Don't worry about your edges. Just throw on and go. So that is it for this one. Y'all see how cute she is. We're gonna go ahead and move into the closure next. I'm excited about this one because of the color. This is the Chestnut Brown Highlights Straight 4x4 Closure Bob. It says it has a natural hairline. This one is in 10 inches again, which I think is a really good, easy length. This is very maintainable. You don't have to worry about a lot of shedding or most of the time they don't tangle, but I just feel like this is a really good natural looking length. And then this one is 160% density, so a little more density. And what else we got? Pre-plucked hairline, elastic band in the back so you can wear it glueless, four by four, and it says that it's a medium brown lace. I think the lace is very soft. This is what she looks like straight out of the pack. So you can see that gorgeous color. And then there is your closure, so is that four inches? Y'all let me know. I think that looks a little small, but we'll see. You got your combs on the side, then your comb here in the back, adjustable straps, and your elastic bands. So pretty standard cap construction. I'm gonna go ahead, tint the lace a little bit like I did on the last one, cut the lace off, and then throw this one on too. Straight out of the pack, this is what she is looking like. I'm gonna try to wear this one glueless as well. So first of all, we gotta get this hair out of my face because that is something I do not do, Lord. Okay, just a matter of placing her on my head where I want her and then styling it. Are we doing a center part? Who are we right now? get this hair as flat as possible. But yes, you can see that the knots are bleached. And also the color of this helps because when it's a lighter color, your knots aren't so dark. I just want this off my face a little bit, but you can see this lace looks really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish styling it. And we're gonna speed through that part and then I will give you guys my final thoughts. with a 
the center part and actually feeling like I like how this looks. She's not glued down. Y'all know the little trick. Find my rat tail. And it is tight, but she is not glued down. I just put a little bit more powder in the front to kind of make it look like it is blended a little better, but I didn't even put any in the part yet, anything like that. Like this is literally just threw it on. You guys saw me with my flat iron. I do feel like I have some flyaways and I do not do hair in the face. So we're gonna have to try to slick these back a little bit and hope that they stay together. Look at this color. Look at these highlights. Everything looks so good. This hair is so silky, so bouncy. This is the second wig you guys saw. She is not glued down. I just put her on my head and go. So if you want something that is very easy to wear, not a lot of maintenance, not a lot of styling, just pass the flat iron, put me a little bit of a neck hug because that's what I like. I don't like straight hair. And just go. Look at this. I think this density is perfect and this wig is perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I call this my little upgraded bob series because this is what Love Me Hair has come out with. They wanted to make it glueless, they wanted to make it easy, beginner friendly, and they have nailed it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know which one you like better. It's just something about a gorgeous highlighted color a little different, a little sass, but the other one, she's going to be one of my top favorites too. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Check the description box for the links for both of these units. Again, thank you Love Me Hair for collaborating with me on this video. I definitely found some keepers. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new, I hope you hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next one. Bye! It's not the way you said. Bye!